Wow. So we have two nines, right? We have the nine of pentacles, nine of cups. A major wish could be coming true here for you guys. You can finally move away from something that wasn't fulfilling, whether it was in the workplace. Again, a general reading, right? This could have been work. It could have been health. could have been a relationship. It could have been a personal plan or a spiritual matter. <clears throat> but nonetheless here, you have definitely been able to move away from something that was really clogging up a lot of mental space. And I suspect very strongly that this is because of what you're doing, not because of how you're feeling necessarily, although you have kept a large heart. There is a big spirit behind what you're doing, a real belief system, of, um, you know, this, this awareness of like, everything is going to be okay, and it might even be part and parcel of you kind of pulling through with something difficult, because there are some difficult energies, don't get me wrong, it's just that you're, you're surpassing this, you're not... Nothing difficult about this reading, and really the only difficult cards would have been technically, right? But again, this is all part and process of moving forward, is your five, your two fives, right? We have the five pentacles, five swords. We do have the eight of swords, we have the ten of swords. Really the only overtly difficult cards, but honestly, without these, you would never be able to move to the next stage. You wouldn't be able to accept something or free yourself from something. So I see this as a really positive thing for you. Right, so we're going to pair bottom of the deck energy, two cups cards. Look at this, ace of cups with the nine of cups. I would say this right now, though, Sagittarius, if you have a wish and you haven't written it down, if you haven't made it very clear, if you haven't... Um, uh, you know, been inspired by something, you know, and these are going to hopefully be released just before March 1st. I would make March 1st the day that you do that. Um, if you already have and you've written it down and you're very clear about it, I would say <laughs> this is going to become very, very fruitful, very fruitful and um, self-actualizing and probably very prosperous, prosperous um, <clears throat> income or um, wealth. Like, can I just look at the... Success and wealth, guys, three aces in the main spread. I'm not just like, ooh, doubling up because of our second layer here. I'm just making fun of myself, but this is pretty intense. Uh, let's dive right in, guys. Super excited for you. So the cards representing you and the reason why you're in this situation is the two of wands. So this is actually really exciting to have um, it qualified by the ten of swords because you're over something. You're done. You've made a major decision here. You're moving into a new direction. It's so exciting for you. I'm goosebumpy. I hope you can see this. I'm excited for you. This is intense. This is love leading the way, a major wish, uh, um, a wholesome transformation because of how you are acting, because of how you are behaving. And we need this. We need the eights and the tens of swords, guys. We really do because we would never be able to free ourselves or consider something over or we've had enough. So <clears throat> you've decided I'm over it. I've had enough. I'm moving on. Really strong energy, both the five of swords and the six of wands in the... Um, crowning position, right? What's working for you, uh, how this is going to go in favor for you. So a small victory at the very least, there could be some short-term travel here, but definitely being in the spotlight, feeling confident here. After some maybe negative words, some, some combative words, there could have been a winner or loser here. This could be going on in your own mind. Remember, this doesn't have to be a relationship with other people or another entity. This can be going on strictly within your own world, within your own thought process. <clears throat> But nonetheless, oh, I'm going to back up a tiny second because we didn't look at these guys. Uh, nonetheless, this is very, very exciting. Um, you have definitely overcome something that was belittling. It was beneath you. And you've risen, above, you've risen above it. You know you don't have time for it. You, you're not even there to argue. It, something isn't up for debate. Your success is not up for debate. And you're just over it. Definitely going in a new direction. So exciting. Um, let's back up for a tiny second. I always forget we have these qualifying cards here over the two of wands and the um, ten of swords. Like I said, just amazing energy. So profoundly prosperous and warm, welcoming, stable. We have the nine of pentacles qualifying the queen of cups. So you could be dealing with a cancer Scorpio Pisces individual. Ten to one, this is going to be cancer energy. 
but very nurturing, very intuitive. Um, where a lot of independent wealth here is um, indicated. So it could be because uh, you were over something and charted a new path here that was based on a heart space, based on a decision coming from your intuition. Um, after, after deciding that you're overthinking about, you know, you're done thinking about it. You don't want to deal with it anymore. You're going to forge a new path. This is going to, it appears as though this is going to be wildly successful for you, like crazy successful. There could even be a new love, new romance, a new offer of love here at the foundation um, or the purpose or uh, reason for the success or charting your new path is the Ace of Wands with the Knight of Cups, right? So if this is a relationship reading for you, this could be someone extending their heart or a passionate expression. Um, on the other hand, it could be that you're expressing yourself emotionally and poetically and mo while moving in this direction, or you're able to finally express yourself now in a heartfelt way. You're very passionate about this new direction that you're taking. It could even be that you're standing up for yourself, that you're taking matters into your own hand, you're feeling confident here, and a spark... A love interest or a spark that fills your heart here. A brand new opportunity that really comes in at the right time for you and makes you feel confident, makes you feel wanted. Just going to adjust my shirt here, guys. Sweet. Um, yeah, really generous energy, really positive energy. I would say this is the, one of the most exciting combinations I've seen in a long time. Just these two cards together, the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Really, really glorious to see these here together. In the recent past, here's where you've overcome some battles. You've had to struggle through a thought process here in order to set yourself free. You could have been defending something that was really not built to last. You were defending something perhaps that was overtaking your mind. There could have been a struggle um, between, you know, stability and dreams. Um, but that's no longer a struggle for you. You are taking action in pursuit of something positive, in pursuit of something reliable. Um, and that is heartfelt and close to your heart here. So the recent past, you've definitely accepted something, right? With the Ace of Swords, you had to come to terms with something here. And uh, you're willing to fight for the lifestyle and, and the people in your life that you want. You're not backing down from whatever it is that you need or deserve the most. You don't make excuses. You don't make um, justifications. You just do what you need to do because you're in a higher place, right? You're in a higher spirit. You're doing something for love with the best intentions. Um, people around you are going to benefit. People around you are going to see you doing well for yourself. And that's how you are. Uh, in a position to inspire others as well. And there's so much heart involved. There's the ace, the queen, the knight of cups here. Um, just a lot of love around you and within you. And this is part and parcel, I believe, of any type of success, frankly. In your near future, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Super exciting with the Justice card. So yeah, something could very well land in your lap. I think as long as you have put some effort into... Um, exhibiting some change around how you act or what it is you really want to spend time on or put your passion and effort and your heart into. I think this is going to come back threefold for you guys. I really do. Um, we do have, like I said, we have both justice. So a major balance around a fortune for you, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune is a 10, as you can see. And as I mentioned at the beginning, two tens. A major cycle is ending and beginning. And because you're out of your head now, you're, you're into a place where you can accept something. You've had to let something very taxing exit from your life. You've had to, and you're firm with this. You've had to be firm with this because now you've created the space for something new, something positive, something that is going to enhance your life in the way that you want. Not like, not like, oops, sorry guys, not in the sense of I guess this is good enough, or I guess I'll tolerate that. This isn't what this is about. You might have been like that, but it's not like that anymore. There's way too much excitement for the future here. In this, and this is really not surprising, in the position 
we were talking about, you know, your power or what you're exhibiting or what you feel you're exhibiting to others at this time. It's a little bit of a mystery. There could be some confusion here around finances, assets, asking for help. You could feel really resistant in asking for help. You could be under the impression, and it could be even true, that other people are going through a difficult financial or health time uh, period at this time. Um, but I think this is a phase that's going to... It's going to be wiped out really quickly. And certainly by the end of the month, guys, you are going to get some sort of financial or health feedback. Something really positive is going to be made available to you, whether it's a new job, success, career, uh, something financial. If your health was an issue, your health is making massive improvements. There could be new information around a health issue. Uh, but you could be dealing with a Pisces individual as well. We are dealing with the moon car. So 12 foes energy, right? Major endings and beginnings. Um, I would say that there is something in the shadow, something that is unknown at this time. And I think that's normal, right? If you're at the beginning stages of something, which it looks like you are with all of these new ace, with all of these aces. Um, and I do believe that this is extremely temporary for you as well. And whenever I see, you know, we're dealing with minors under the under the number six, this is this is really easily solvable. This is a very temporary period here. And again, I think this is quite normal because you've had to make a major decision in order to step out and step up and make space for the new. Um, something else I wanted to mention there, and it's escaping me at the moment. Yeah, I do think that. This is going to be a temporary phase for you, and you could even feel like a sense of embarrassment here or that you're not doing as well as you thought you were going to do, but this is temporary. We do have a full moon in Virgo on the 9th. Um, I do see that this is, by the time we're in this position, we're in third to fourth week, so things are going to still be a little bit hazy, possibly a little bit dreamy. Uh, be careful of how you're spending your imagination or how you're using your imagination at this time. You know, we're going to get out of this sense of lack or sense of poverty, um, um, sense of not having. You know, we're going to get out of that. We're going to pay attention to where our imagination is flowing. Um, because as you can see here, what other people are seeing around you, here's the intensity I was talking about, right? This emotional intensity, this fulfillment, um, mature emotions. And here's another source. We have two eights of swords here. And of course, this is really about, we're leveling up. We're getting rid of this old attitude. You can intensely move away from this. This doesn't rule your emotions anymore. You have been successful in moving away from something that really doesn't deserve to fill up space in your environment. Um, other people could be bringing it up. Other people could be questioning what you're doing. You could even be having second thoughts here. Like, is, is this the right thing for me? But I would stick to it. Stick to what is fresh and new and coming in, especially if it's a new job, especially if it's a new opportunity. Here we have our second five as well. I just want to look up and see if any eights. They do not. So... I was just looking to see if two fives or two eights were meaningful. They don't seem to be terribly meaningful here. Um, I think it's, but we do have several fives, however. So let's look at three fives. Yeah, disputes and quarrels, right? I mean, I think, again, this is part and parcel of you leveling up. It could be people around you, or it could just be like an inner voice. You could be unconvinced. But, you know, try to imagine your way out of that. Try to stay in this heart space here. Stay super positive. In your hopes and wishes, right, this is prosperity and then lacking. So two really um, opposed energies here. Um, your hopes and fears are to not be lacking any longer. So shocking, right? But, um, yeah, stay in an imaginative, positive space. If you're a spell or a dream caster, start that now. Start some magic work around this. Do some positive affirmations around income, around health, <clears throat> around advancement. This could have to do with a child. You could be wanting a child. You could be wanting someone or something to be yours or come to you, and it doesn't feel like it's happening fast enough. Um, but it does look at, like, by the end of the month, right, we have the Ace of Swords paired with the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, get, you know, get, have some patience at this time. Give something a little bit of wiggle room to work itself out, to take hold, um, to become actualized here. Because at the end of the month, we're looking at a brand new 
plan, a brand new idea, a major victory um, around quite possibly a Capricorn individual or, you know, your income, 10th house, right? Your status quo, how you're seen by the public, feeling comfortable, feeling cozy. Uh, this is nurturing money, nurturing wealth, nurturing income. Um, so it could be that you have new ideas around how to do this or you're presented with new ideas or you have like sort of like an aha moment around how to invest money, how to make more money, create it. Um, spend it, etc. So honestly, super gorgeous guys. Like I said, I'm not shocked to see a little bit of difficult sort of chaotic cards there where you have three fives. Um, but you're leveling up. You're moving away from something that can be considered beneath you. I was going to say toxic, but I really, really wouldn't say toxic. We don't have any, there's no devil card here. Um, it's just kind of beneath you and you're going to move away from that. I think with your full heart, your hopes and wishes are really going to take over. You're going to use your mind to your highest imagination. Put something down on paper. Um, we, we do have a few pentacles here. Make sure that you are in um, positive state of mind. And definitely do something, right? Like with these major, the first three cards really in your reading were all, um, or are all fire. So action taken at this time is, is the difference between believing or even wanting, um, or even feeling like all those things are wonderful, but action is absolutely necessary. And that's going to be the difference. You're definitely going places, independent wealth, extraordinary happiness around a major wish fulfillment, major wish fulfillment. If this is a love reading for you, I would say this is incredibly exciting. There could be, oops, there could be some crossed wires here and there, but if it's in the newer phase or if you're discovering things about each other, that's kind of normal, believe it or not. So we had a couple jump out from each deck, so out of the wisdom of the oracle, to be fair and treasure island. So yeah, stay balanced, balance between activity and your heart space, because everything else is going to work itself out. Just get out of the head, balance your activity with your heart space, and this is really going to free you up to bring all this um, bounty into your life. And then the treasure island is really speaking about, it, it is within, if you feel like you deserve this, if you make the space for this, it belongs to you. And that's, and I think that's what you're doing. You're getting out of this old thinking, right? We do have Trickster here. Try to enjoy the ride, guys. Try not to take something so seriously. Um, the Coyote, especially in the cartoon, you know, he's he's making a mockery of himself. He's just this silly little thing, and he never gets his goal. So be careful that you're not tricking yourself or tripping yourself up. Um, and try to keep a sense of humor and um, keep your eye on the prize. So this situation involves marriage. So I would say if this is not a romance reading for you and it's strictly a reading regarding career or um, any other matter, frankly, you know, wedding is really a vow or a contract, right? So you're making a vow with yourself. You're, you're, um, you know, you made a major decision. You're signed up, you're connected, and you're really going to be married to a new idea, a new concept or a new plan of action here, which is wonderful because that's, you want this goodness to last. And then again with the balance, and then we have celebration. So balance your uh, heart space with your activity, really coming out there. Um, again, looking at justice as well. Something is going to be settled for you. So try not to overthink or try not to make for something, right? And then celebration. No kidding, guys. Nine of Cups, uh, Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, I mean, just a lot of really gorgeous energy belongs to you. In the month of March, my dear Sag, 